165 Academy Award nominated students, 500 Emmy Award nominations. You've touched many lives in your work, in your teachings, and I'm going to... Recently I was having lunch with a small group and Andrew Stanton was there and they were asking him about early incarnations of Pixar and, and he said, they said, how did you get going? He said, well, a bunch of us went to Robert McKee's class. We thought we knew what we were doing. And we walked out of there and realized we got a lot to learn. And so they, they asked him, they said, so now you know. He said, oh, no, I'm still learning. You know, I remember those guys very well. They came into my class, <clears throat> handsome guys, smart guys, what, you know, what we would call cool you know, and uh, pleasant in the night, you know, really nice, smart guys. And, and they were humble and their head was down and said, look, you know, we're, we're computer nerds and animators and we love movies and, um, and we don't, um, you know, but we don't know anything about, you know, movies really and, and so forth. I said, have you, have you made a film? And they said, yeah, we've made this little uh, animated film. I said, can I see it? So they showed it to me. This marvelous little short about an animated lamp. And I watched that and I turned to them and I said, guys, you've got nothing to worry about. Just sit down, take notes, pay attention. You're going to be all right. <laughs> okay. and, uh, I mean, you could just see the talent bursting out of that little animated film. And so I knew that if I could get them to get the big picture and understand the shape of story and, and the character story relationship and progression and turning points and payoffs and setups, if I could just get them through those, those great, you know, deep fundamentals, it's to those fundamentals that they will come back again and again and again. It's just like we were talking about earlier, you know, what goes wrong with writing is writing, okay? It's solved by writing. What goes wrong with a story is story. And it's solved with story. And so every time they make a movie, you have to go back to the big questions. What does this character want? Why does this character want it? How are they struggling to get it? What's stopping them when they try? And what are the consequences of those choices and actions? You ask the basic <clears throat> fundamental question, because if, those, if you don't know the answers to those questions, there is no story. And so, um, and so having a, a foundation in the nature of story, then <clears throat> they can experiment, they can try, they can deepen it, they'll get better at it. And I mean, Pixar is the best. Um, but uh, because they have a great foundation and they got enormous talent and huge IQs, <laughs> What they do is, you know, is, is the best stuff in Hollywood. And so uh, there's no mystery to this. Uh, but they paid attention. They learned. And, uh, the, you know, the results are really, for me, gratifying because, because I, you know, I, 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 I know that this works. What I teach works. Um, and uh, when people prove it back to me by taking what they learned and, and creating Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, and Up in the Air, and all the rest of those, uh, or Up, rather, all the rest of those uh, wonderful Pixar, Wall-E, and all that. Uh, it's, uh, it's just great.